Every now and then you see some gamers being labeled as casual gamers, and unless they're calling themselves that, it's usually as an insult. Well, if you don't want to be casual, what do you want to be? Hardcore, baby. But hold on a second, what does hardcore gamer even mean? Really into games? I couldn't imagine being more into games personally, but have never called myself a hardcore gamer. Well, maybe that's because I'm not hardcore enough. To be truly hardcore, you gotta be willing to let people know just how hardcore you are. Now we're talking. Time to get me the kind of respect that I deserve. But is hardcore gamer just a term created to put down so-called casual gamers? In some cases, yes, but it could also refer to many other things, especially within the retro gaming community. I mean, back in the day, I don't really remember anybody being called casual or hardcore gamers. I feel like calling somebody a casual gamer came from the video game industry growing, and with that growth came a larger player base, which naturally led to, for lack of a better word, more casual games and more casual gamers. Quick show of hands, who called their grandma a noob for playing Wii Bowling? I don't think casual always has a negative connotation either though. Some people will gladly say they're more casual when it comes to certain things. Quick little test for you. Would you rather be called a casual hot dog eater or a hardcore hot dog eater? When it comes to gaming, some people may want to distance themselves from some of the more negative depictions of quote unquote hardcore gamers by calling themselves casual. Like, hey, don't group me in with that madness. However, the term hardcore gamer isn't always used in such a judgmental fashion. It could refer to any number of things. For example, playing certain kinds of games could make a gamer hardcore. Typically, games that are more involved in one way or another. RPGs can fit this bill, seeing as they tend to be pretty long in length, and therefore require whoever's playing them to be pretty dedicated dedicated and invested. Plus, these games tend to have a lot going on in terms of item management, character management, story development, giving players a lot to sink their teeth into. Also, the gamers who enjoy these games seem to play a ton of them. That's a lot of hours racking up. These kinds of games are a mainstay on gamers' backlogs who aren't hardcore about playing RPGs. The investment alone is enough to scare some people away. Fighting games are a great example too, especially for those who play these games at a higher level. I swear, you could learn an entire language in less time than it would take to get as good as some of the people who play these games. The only thing hardcore about the way some of us more casual fans play fighting games is how aggressively we can mash the buttons. But speaking of being either good or not good at games, that's another way gamers can be deemed as hardcore. If you're super good at a game, you're checking a lot of boxes. Boxes. You've probably played the game a lot, know a lot about it, and really like the game too. At least, I would assume so. Anybody ever heard of somebody who's really good at a game despite not liking it? I suppose you could burn out on a game. Hey, what about being hardcore for a game you suck at? That would be something. Usually people don't stick with the game very long if they aren't at least decent at it. Guess who the biggest fans of the Dark Souls games are? Yeah, the ones who New Game Plus those suckers over and over. Not the people who get their butt whooped by the first batch of enemies and throw their hands up like they've just been asked to climb Mount Everest. I'd imagine playing difficult games can make some gamers feel hardcore too. Be it a difficult game and congratulations, you've earned yourself a hardcore gamer badge and what can you do with it? Well, not much. Beating a difficult game kind of falls in line with getting good at a game. I mean, I haven't figured out any other ways to beat difficult video games yet. I'll let you know if I do though. Getting good at a hard game is different from getting good at a not hard game because a hard game forces you to get good in order to make any progress. Don't try to button mash your way through Ninja Gaiden, it won't go well. All right. But what about playing more obscure games? Does that make you hardcore? I mean, typically you'd think a more casual gamer would just be playing whichever games are the most obvious, heavily advertised, the games everybody knows about. But nothing says hardcore gamer like somebody who plays Mr. Mosquito. The reason why playing more obscure games might be considered hardcore is because it requires more effort to track down and find these games. Well, assuming you're also trying to find a game that you enjoy. I mean, if if you want to pull up a list of games and go eeny meeny miny mo on it, 
You can find something obscure with little effort, but it may not exactly be a banger. But even besides the effort taken to find something more off the beaten path, you'd also likely be playing something more unconventional. Playing a game like Airzog Zwei for the first time is kind of like slipping into a pair of your comfiest socks with a twist, requiring a little bit of patience to get into. Also, if you're willing to go off the beaten path, it means you've probably already spent a good chunk of time on the beaten path itself. Point is, you've played a lot of games. Okay, but what about collecting? Some people would say that having a lot of games makes you hardcore. Problem is, technically this could be less games than this. I tend to agree with the folks who would say that collecting a lot of games makes you a hardcore collector, but not necessarily a hardcore gamer. I mean, what if you collect games but never play them, or don't play them very often? Although, coincidentally, many people who collect a lot of games also happen to play a lot of games too. Makes sense to me. Does that make sense to you? Ultimately, I think a hardcore gamer is just somebody who takes games really seriously in one way or another. I joked about Minecraft earlier, but there are absolutely people who play Minecraft in a way that could be considered hardcore. Whether or not people take their games too seriously, that's up to you. It kind of reminds me of words like dork or nerd, especially when it comes to gaming, as it can be used in either an insulting way or not depending on how you use it. Part of me thinks hardcore gamer is just a term people came up with to differentiate themselves from people who play cell phone games. And yeah, I'm guessing there's probably a lot of people who think it's just a dumb word to use in any context, especially among to retro gamers, as a lot of us didn't really use this word back in the day. Unless I just missed something, how many of you remember the term hardcore gamer being thrown around back in the day? Maybe I could be wrong. And by the way, when I say back in the day, I mean the 90s or earlier. Sorry kids, your opinion isn't what I'm looking for on this one, but that doesn't mean I don't still want you to be a part of the hobby. All right. But besides hearing from all of you about the earliest time you heard the term hardcore gamer, I'd be curious to hear what you think in general. Do you think hardcore gamer is just a stupid term or is there something about it you find interesting? As always, would love to hear what you have to say, so leave your answer down below and I will see ya in the next video. He's the red cooper, yeah. And he's talking, talking about video games. He's the